What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be breaking down my automated shout out system. A lot of users have already been utilizing my first words greeting system, but do not really want to greet a bunch of people and it seems to be a little complex for some users. So I decided to simplify one and make it so that it just specifically shouts out the users that you declare in a group. Unfortunately, you won't be able to automate this with adding people, but you once you manually add one individual, they will be able to be shouted out going on forward without having to do anything from there on out. It's a pretty simple system. It's basically taking a small snippet of the greeting system that I previously released and expands upon that by just using a group. So we'll create a group called icons and anybody in that group called icons will get a shout out depending on the platform that they're on. This is a cross platform compatible system. So it will work on Trovo, Kick, Twitch and YouTube. Today I'm going to be releasing it and breaking it down so that you guys can see how it works. For those of you that don't really want to build it from scratch but just want to kind of understand how it works, this video is going to be more catered towards you. There will be a link down in the description with an import code that will give you the entire system broken down with all the comments and labels. I will review that real quickly but we are also going to break it down on how to build it step by step because some users have been requesting that as well. So let's dive on into it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to establish a group. So we're going to go over, go down to settings, go to groups. So you're going to want to type in icons. That's the name scheme we're going with. If you want to change it up, go for it. I just recommend doing this. It makes it easier. Once you have your icons name or whatever your title you choose, press add, and it should add it right to your groups listing right here. Now, when you go over to the users box, you'll notice that when you right click, you can add user to icons or you can remove all. We're gonna add a user to icon. Just as a demonstration, I'm gonna type in Digi. And you're gonna see that I have a couple users that populate. These users are only going to populate in this list if they have interacted in the channel when you had StreamerBot active. These users get stored in StreamerBot so that once they've interacted, they are able to be added to a group. If they have not yet interacted with your channel, you unfortunately are not going to be able to add them from what my understanding is. So for example, if I want to add myself, you would select the user, press select, and now you have them added here. Regardless of what platform they're on, they can be added to this group. And that is how you're going to declare if you want them to get a shout out per that platform. Now, if you have a friend that is on, say, Twitch and YouTube, you can add both their accounts. Just keep in mind that they will get shout out twice if they jump into chat from both platforms. I'm going to go ahead and delete this just because we don't want to shout out ourselves. But this is where you would add your users to the icons group that you want to get shouted out. Now that you have your icons group created, I'm going to review what we already have established. So I have a first words auto shout outs action created in this action you'll have some triggers you'll have your first words for twitch chat for youtube chat for kick chat and trovo you'll notice that the type right here is first words as of right now with that template they should all be enabled so that if you want to stream on all platforms that you already have it running and ready to go make sure that you do have these platforms linked over in your platforms over here but we're not going to be going over that here on this video. Maybe another one. Now from these triggers, when you come down to sub actions, you'll see that there is one if else logic and that's it. Inside the if else logic is quite a bit, but it breaks down pretty easy and I'm going to explain that to you and then we'll circle back and we'll start building it from scratch. So here you have your if else statement that says if user groups, so the percent user groups percent, which is the variable, contains icons then it's going to do anything in this true result here if that user is in the icons group it is going to continue on and do the shout out for them so what i've done is made it a little bit easier by setting an argument with shout out message as the variable and then this is your your message here you can put whatever you want but there's by default it says mom get the camera percent user percent has entered the chat go show some love and then it'll have the link corresponding after that. And I'll show you how that works. Now, if you don't want that, obviously load in your own. 
So you have your shout out message variable. Now, how do we get those to show up on the different platforms? Well, first we have to find out what platform they're on, which one of these triggers is triggering this sub action list here. So what we have here is a group. It's a shout out message per platform is how I labeled it. When you click the drop down, you'll notice that there's a YouTube, Kick, Twitch, and Trovo shout out message. Each one of these have an if else logic. And the if else is basically saying, if they are on this platform, then execute these sub actions. If not, continue looking and seeing if they're on a different platform. So we'll go ahead and go into the Twitch one just to kind of break it down. Cause I know a lot more of you guys are gonna be on Twitch because a lot of my community are Twitch streamers. So once you break open this, you'll see that there is just one simple Twitch message along with all the other platforms. There'll be a kick message, YouTube and Trovo. Same concept when you go into it, you'll see that it has the percent shout out message, and then it'll also have the link proceeding after it. This is built so that when they are on Twitch, it will put the Twitch link here, as well as their username at the end of the Twitch link, because that is how their links are built. Now, the one that was a little bit trickier was YouTube, because we have to kind of go and dig a different variable out, but it's still the same concept, and I'll show you that here in a second. So for those of you that are using a bot account, make sure you go and check these off. I decided to turn these off because in the previous one, I kind of assumed that it would be more convenient with people with bot users, but I realized there's a lot of people out there that don't have bot users set up. But if you want to learn how to do that, I will be having a video in the future and maybe even a written tutorial on my website. But for now, we're going to keep that turned off for those of you that don't have the bot user set up. You can just make it so that you say the shout out yourself. So when you press OK, you'll be able to go and check out all the other ones. So let me just show you YouTube for a demonstration because YouTube is a little bit more unique than the other three. When you go to the true statement, you'll see in here it has youtube.com slash channel slash user ID. Since YouTube allows multiple users to have the same username, using the username isn't really as effective, but in this case, the user ID is unique to each and individual account. Now, this isn't gonna make much of a difference just because once they're loaded into your, your icons group, it'll automatically generate, but I found this was the most effective way to get the shout out to work properly. So press okay, and let's go ahead and start breaking this down in terms of actually constructing it. So let's go ahead and build it ourselves. So you wanna go back to your actions. In your actions tab, you're going to want to right click in actions, press add, and I'm going to call this auto shout outs. The group is going to be first words cross platform or whatever you prefer. Obviously, this is not going to make a difference. It's just for your own organizational preferences. You're going to want to create a queue and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and press OK so that we have it created and we'll come back to it after we set up our queues. So to set up a queue, you're going to go over to your actions and queues on the left panel and go down to queues. In here, you can just right click, press add, and you can name it whatever you want. I personally already have one called shout outs. Now, there is one thing that you want to make sure that you set up when you name it. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit my shout outs. And you're going to notice that I have something here called blocking that is toggled on. This is going to basically make sure that each shout out is going to play out one at a time. So if you have two users that get shouted out talk at the same time, both of their events are gonna go off simultaneously if they're not set up for blocking. Now, if you have your blocking and those users speak at the same time, it is going to choose one to put in front of the other and it's gonna execute that one. And then once it's complete, it'll execute the next one. And that will kind of help you not stack sounds and events if you have all those extra things. And this one, we're only going to be sticking to the message. If you want to learn how to do like walk-ons and events, you can also go check out my first words greeting system. That will show you how you can do that. But for now, because we already have this set up, I'm going to press cancel, but make sure you press OK, and that will add it to this list. If you don't see it here in the queues, that means it didn't add. Once you have that, you can go back to your actions. Go back to the auto shout outs that we created, double click on it, and then in the queue section, do the drop down and find your queue that you created. Select it and you're good to go. Now that we have the action set up, now we need to set up our triggers. For those of you that are only streaming on specific platforms, this is where you're gonna pick and choose what platforms you wanna use. So we're gonna go ahead and search the word first words. And without even getting to the term words, we already have all of them populated. Like I said, I'm 
a Twitch streamer. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up for Twitch. And then if you want to apply what you learned from the Twitch stuff to the other platforms, you should be able to. So with this, you're going to want to make sure that your first word prompt here is left empty. This is known as a catch all. The catch all basically is going to check and see if they're just a person chatting for the first time. If you put a username in here or any sort of characters or numerics, it's going to only look for that username that is written in there. So if you put six, seven in there, then the username is always going to be looking for six, seven. It's not going to be looking for any other user. So if you leave this blank, it'll check for every single user, regardless of their username. You don't want to mess with the is user ID and you're going to press OK. When you press OK, you will have your trigger set up. Now, for those of you that are multi-platform streamers, you would want to make sure you go in here and type in first and add your other platforms. I'm going to add YouTube in here just to spice things up. You'll notice the same thing pops up. You leave this empty, leave this untoggled, press OK. And now we have a first words trigger for both Twitch and YouTube. You can apply these to Kick and Trovo as well. We're going to leave it at this just to keep it nice and simple. So the next step is we're going to go down to our sub actions and start building out what happens when these triggers go off. Now to begin, we have to figure out if this user is in the icons group that we created. So we're going to create an if else logic. So if you type in if, the second thing that pops up is core logic if else. We're gonna click on that. With this input here, you're gonna wanna put the variable percent user groups. Followed by a percent. No spaces and make sure you capitalize that G. That is the naming structure that they use for variables and in this one in particular. We're gonna put the operation not as equals, but we're gonna put it as contains. That way if they're in multiple groups and not just check the first group on the listing, it'll go through all of their groups and check if it contains this one here. Now the value is gonna be whatever you name that group. Like I said, if you're following the naming scheme, you would put the word icons here. Made it nice and short, just so it's something quick for you slow typers like myself. You press OK, and now you have your first if else logic set up. So if their user group contains icons, then we're gonna go and set up the true result, which if they are in that group, then these things will happen. So now we're going to show you how to set up an argument, which is basically storing the message prior to the shout out portion. So you're gonna want to go to the search bar again, and we're going to add a set argument. You'll see it's in the category core arguments set argument. Now the variable name is whatever you want it to be. I'm going to make it easy and we're just going to put SO message or shout out message with a capital M to kind of follow the same naming scheme. Now your value is going to be the actual message that you want to store in this variable. And for this one, I'm just going to keep it short. We're just going to say, Hey, go show some love to user. And then you can leave the auto typing here and press okay. Now you have a variable stored as your shout out message we have to go in and actually set up the shout out portion of that message. And I'm going to show you how to do it on Twitch and YouTube. You can take what you learn here and apply it to kick and Trovo. So first we're going to have to search if else, and we're going to add a new one. And this one is going to scan to see if this event is happening on Twitch or any other platform. You click this, we're going to go with the input variable of percent event source percent. We're going to leave the operation as equals and we're going to set the value to Twitch. This is basically going to tell StreamerBot what platform this user is active on. In this case, it's going to be Twitch. Now make sure that this is in the true result and not in the false result. Now in the true result is where we're going to put our Twitch platform message. So click in the true and type send message to channel. 
and look for the one that's in the category of Twitch. You'll notice Kick, Trovo, and YouTube are also there as well. So that's what we'll be using if you're setting up on other platforms. Remember, apply what you're learning here with Twitch and use it on the other platforms. Make sure to check off these, turn them off. And we're going to use that variable that we set up, the shout out message, and we're going to put it here in this message. And then after that, we're going to include the link that we use to shout out the user on Twitch. And make sure to include the variable percent user percent at the end of this link so that it works properly for that specific user. So now that you have your variable here with the shout out message, it's going to put whatever you set that argument as. And then following that is going to be the link to whatever you put preceding that. So in this case, it's going to be your Twitch link. Press OK. Now you have a logic set up for Twitch platform specifically. So if that user is on Twitch, then it's going to play the Twitch message and it's going to shout them out with the message that we created as well as the link that we generate. The same would apply for Kick and Trovo. I'm also going to show you how to do YouTube just because YouTube has one different variable that I'd like to reinstate that we mentioned earlier. So go ahead and duplicate this one. And now go into it, edit, and change the value from Twitch to YouTube. Make sure to keep them all lowercase. It's case sensitive. Press OK. And now you have an event source set up for if it equals YouTube, it's going to play out whatever is in the true result. We need to change the Twitch platform message to a YouTube platform message. So let's go ahead and delete the one that we have here in the duplicated one and search send message to channel. And then go ahead and line it up with the YouTube. In here, turn off these and set up the same thing. Starting with the shout out variable. And now we're going to follow that with the link to the user's channel. And keep in mind, this one also has the percent user, but it's going to have percent user ID. And this will be the link that you would use for the YouTube generated link. It'll be youtube.com slash channel slash percent user ID. Make sure that the I and ID is capitalized. And you'll notice that in mine, it didn't actually go into the true result. So make sure that goes into your true result for your YouTube event source. Now, if the event source appears on YouTube, then it's going to send a message to the channel on YouTube platform versus the Twitch one. And that is how these event source filters work. If you wanted to create one for Kick and Trovo, you'd do the same exact thing that you did with Twitch. Just change the link from a Twitch link to a Trovo or Kick link. And from there, you should be good to go. So just to review real quickly, you should have if the user groups contains icons, then the true result's going to be first step set argument shout out message to hey go show some love to percent user percent now when you have that set argument you're going to take that variable and you're going to inject it into the different platform messages so the first one that we have set up is the twitch one if event source equals twitch then it's going to play the chat message that we had set up and there it's going to be percent so message percent with the link proceeding after that this is the Twitch link, so this is going to be the Twitch platform. It's still going to say that message that we have loaded in the set argument, as well as it's going to follow with that link. And then secondly, we have YouTube. If the event source equals YouTube, then it's going to send a YouTube platform message. The same concept with the percent shout out message, but it's going to follow with a different link, which is the YouTube link. A little bit different than the Twitch link where you have the backslash channel and then the user ID versus the user is a little bit different when it comes to their variables so that's why we have to dig it out and that's why i did this one on top of twitch with all that being said that should be the premise of a youtube twitch trovo and kick shout out system where it will automate the users that are on that icons group and give them the shout outs and the love that they deserve and if you found this tutorial helpful and you want to find some more information about streamer bond and other things that i might put out on my channel make sure to give it a like subscribe and Stick around, hang out with the community. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.